I see you, you did a, an after dinner speech at uh, Herge's Tintin Museum in Brussels. Now this looks really exciting. So what happened there? The, the conference was a, was a communication conference in, in Brussels and um, there was a, an event in the evening and they'd asked me to talk after dinner. So I want you to picture the scene where the glasses of champagne had been flowing um, and to do an after dinner speech when the glasses, people are full and it has to be exciting. And so, so I stood up and, and I said to everybody, I want you to now imagine that we're back in the dawn of man and the lights are going to go down, so the lights went down, and I want to imagine that there's a fire that's burning low and we're in the cave. And um, I'm going to pick up a burning ember here and I'm going to go across here and I'm going to draw this shape on a flip chart. I drew this fabulous shape and it was a zigzag a very messy zigzag. And I went back and I put my burning ember back down. I said, well, that's great over there. And, and some people looking at it thinking, my, oh, I like that design. And um, some people over here are frowning slightly. So I'm gonna pick up another burning ember and I'm going to the other wall. I'm gonna draw another shape. And I very carefully drew a square. And from that point, we then took them through a fabulous, um, it was a, a workshop, which was made even more exciting by having, we had cartoonists there, exploring people's zigzag side and exploring people's square side. And to create that level of excitement with everybody in the room standing up, as I said, there, there was a fair few glasses of champagne were going. And, and the, this came, comes from the, what I call the KMTBI, the Kevin M. Thompson, type and brand indicator. And taking people through the, the zigzags and squares exercise is the beginning of, a, of an exploration around the side of us as communicators that isn't about words. It's about design and it's about color. And it's about the excitement that you can get from those. Marketing people will talk about the brand and every brand's got its own KMTBI. It's got its own shape, its own color. And those reflect back into the words we say as well. So this was a, a, a fabulous um, uh, evening. It's, as I say, made it especially more fun uh, by having cartoonists that were drawing people that were doing all the exciting things that we were doing uh, during the evening. Okay, so you've done the after dinner speech. What happens next? Traditionally, you'd, you'd go to a conference and there'll be an after dinner speech and everybody goes, that was, that was fun or not, and, and then nothing happens. The, the whole approach with the company culture cookbook and cafes is that here is a bunch of recipes that you can take and you can build into your organizations the way you do things around here. So after the, the after dinner speech, we have cafes which allow you to explore single issues and we also have the light bites which allow myself and, and our uh, trainers to come into your organization and do light bite sessions. We want something on presentation skills. We want something on being able to run a team briefing. We want something on, on questioning techniques. And our light bites are, are opportunities for, for people to come together for quick 90 minute sessions and that you can record those sessions and you can keep those online and keep adding to the way that you do things. So rather than seeing the conference as just something as a one-off in its own right, the whole approach with the company culture cafes, with conferences, the cafes and the light bites, is to be able to pr provide our clients with a complete package. They can have all or part of that depending on where they are and what they want to do in terms of the levels of change that they need to bring out in the organization.